I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. House Republicans held a press briefing last Thursday to oppose transgender athletes in women's sports. This comes as Title IX celebrated its 50th anniversary. Representative Kat Kamak said trans participation in women's sports, quote, isn't a progressive policy. This is regressive. Democrats have argued it is discrimination to not allow trans athletes to participate. Here's more from last week's briefing. Really discuss and cover this important topic. I'm Kat Kamak from the uh, Sunshine State, the free state of Florida, where we protect and value women's sports. I'm also a woman, <laughs> just in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> now today, I serve as the youngest Republican woman in Congress today. I am 34 years old, and I have played sports for nearly half my life, from kindergarten all the way through college. I was an athlete. I played basketball, softball, volleyball, I cheered, and I even played golf. And it was in high school I was told that I couldn't join the golf team because I was a girl. And so we created the girls team. Now I look at this situation and it's funny to me how we went from the boys only club to now boys have a team and girls have a team and you can have some co-ed teams but now it's co-ed and boys right. just like Debbie said this isn't a progressive policy this is regressive this is backwards and it is a slap in the face to every single woman and parent who has fought for their child to have an opportunity to play and we all know how important sports are to young girls and to kids so I am very proud to join my good friends, Leader McCarthy, Jim Banks, Debbie, Greg, Burgess, uh, Claudia, <laughs> Diana. Wow, I can't see all the way down. I'm five foot three with T-Rex arms, so you can imagine me as an athlete. It was a sight. But thank you all so much for being here. It is so important to recognize the 50th anniversary of Title IX because now more than ever, we have to stand and defend women's sports as they are under attack from the woke left. This Congress, I have been working with ranking member Jordan and my colleagues on the Future of American Freedoms Task Force where we are formulating the policies that we'll hit the ground running with come January 3rd, 2023. And our focus on this task force is to develop the policies that focus on protecting our foundational American freedoms that are under attack by cancel culture and the woke left. And I can tell you right now, we are focused on protecting women's sports on this task force, and Republicans will be leading the charge to defend both Title IX and to ensure that women's sports can continue to flourish and grow for the next 50 years. So thank you again, and thank you for being here. Thank you, Kat. And let's turn to Diana Harshberg.